Hi, Tommy Heffern, and veterinary consultant with Precision Microbes. Uh, you've seen on our website and you heard us talking about all the benefits in our animal health sector of the use of microbes, our good probiotic and postbiotic liquid solutions, and how unique they are. And it's been quite phenomenal in the market. But we also have a huge range of other applications of microbes. And one of them is environmental microbes. So let's go back to basics again. When we think about microbes, and we often think about bacteria, we think often sometimes about pathogens. But it's not all bad pathogens when we think bacteria. We have good and bad bacteria. In fact, many bacteria are really have a positive benefit. So what we're doing, we're using our liquid live lactobacillus blends for environmental microbes. We're controlling the environment that the animals are in. And these lactobacillus bacteria do this by the production of lactic acid. They compete with harmful pathogens. And this is the idea of competitive inhibition. None of us would be here, and you've heard me say this before, without some natural defenses. So it's about this idea of nature working with nature. We're controlling the microbial population in animal housing. And how do we do it? So there's a number of applications and a number of ways we're doing it. So on farms and in stables uh, with horses, what we're doing is we're using these liquid live blends of environmental microbes to colonize before animals go in. We have an environmental plus product, which is the starting product. It's our base layer. And then as straw and, and, and other bedding is added, we can then regularly use this fogging and misting. And this is really important when we think about how we apply uh, environmental microbes. This misting effect allows for small particles and lots of this good bacteria to get into the air. Um, that's when it gets down to animal level and bedding level. We're controlling the microbes, so we're controlling the population, these lactobacillus species, which are very effective at colonizing and, and controlling and inhibiting bad pathogens. It's also improving air quality and the reduction of ammonia. If we think about bedding in animals, we have a lot of slurry and manure production, um, we're actually controlling it by creating a composting effect. And I've seen this on farm with a dramatic reduction in straw and bedding usage. And again, this less rotting. So we have a better compost, we have a better fertilizer for our fields. But most importantly, it creates a really good environment for animals to be in, reducing infection pressure, particularly the pathogens. Um, when we think about air quality and we think about the airways of, uh, of animals, it's got its own microbiome as well. And there's a lot of research in this area around the use of lactobacillus species, actually, and how they can enhance upper airway health. And I've seen this firsthand on farm personally from watching and looking and applying some of our trials in environmental microbes. So you can see the huge benefit of these, not just in cattle farms and on straw bedding, but potentially in stables and horses as well. Um, again, if we look at intensive livestock systems, we're doing a lot of research in the area of using microbes across uh, orally, um, but also environmental microbes and slurry microbes. But what we're doing with the misting systems here is more regular misting, so automated systems that are misting in these good environments microbes and we're controlling the microbial population where there's a lot more infection challenge and pressure on animals and again the same principles apply again with slurry or effluent here we're using our microbes to control the composting effect so we're, what we're seeing in the trials is obviously if we can control the pathogens in the environment of animals well then we're reducing down infection pressure and risk of disease we're seeing better performance and we're also seeing importantly the reduction of ammonia which is a really interesting one from the precision microbes team point of view because we want to really find follow that um, from an environmental perspective because we are all about using nature um, and harnessing the power of nature. But also, if we think about ammonia and its role in air quality, particularly indoors with animals, it affects the cilia of the respiratory system. It's a really uh, good indicator of poor air quality if we have high ammonia. So we want to reduce down ammonia. We can do that, um, and it's going to improve animal health overall. Environmental microbes, an absolutely fascinating area. Just another one of the many products in the precision microbes range. Nature working with nature, working with live beneficial microorganisms in so many different areas and making a real impact. For more information, contact the Precision Microbes team on info at precisionmicrobes.com.